Well, hello. My name is Mark Winter, and I am a metal sculptor from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And this is my studio on my parents' farm just outside of Milwaukee. So I was hoping you could join me and we could take a look around and talk about process and look at some of my collections and maybe throw some sparks around. Who knows? So this is the piece that started it all. I made this for Beth when we first met. She took me to a fancy store downtown, you know, one of them fancy downtown stores, and things were pretty expensive. And I thought, I can do that. I've got a welder. And that's how it all started. So this is how I go shopping. Sometimes I start my day by going to my little junkyard and picking something interesting out. I mean, how lucky am I? I've got this amazing space and access to cool tools. It's a lot of fun. So I guess I'm a collector, not a hoarder. There's a difference, a legal difference. Look it up. It all started with oil cans for some reason. I can't tell you why, I was just obsessed with oil cans. I found a box of them on, a, on the side of the street one time, and I just thought, this is so beautiful. And I just never stopped. To me, one of something is okay, but you get 500 of that same thing, now you got something. Now I can work with that. Whether it's a pile or all on the wall together or welded together into a ball, who knows, who cares? All these things are so beautiful and so forgotten. And they've done their work as their original, what they were meant to be. Whether it's a wrench or a spark plug. The work has been done, now they're just ready to move on and be appreciated for how beautiful they are. I don't know. Maybe it's just a sickness. But I don't see it stopping anytime soon, that's for sure. So I could not do what I do without music. The rhythm, the heartbeat, the pounding, the lifeblood, everything I do in my studio. It's always on when I'm working. It's always loud. And it's always fundamental. I never know what my day is gonna bring. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. But it's work. And I go to work every day. I never have a plan or a premeditated thought of what the piece is going to be. I let the metal speak for itself. I let the metal talk to me becomes what it wants to be. If I try to control it or try to try too hard, I just make a mess. And it shows in the piece. It looks labored, it doesn't work. So when I relax, take a breath, and not think and just do do the work, it seems easy. It doesn't seem like work. There's a moment where you can get in the zone. I don't care if you're a sculptor or a painter or a musician or a basketball star. You're in that moment of not thinking, just doing. 
And if you shoot the ball, it's going in the net, guaranteed. Well, for me, it's welding. So I decided my world is 70% confusion and 30% success. And for the times when it's hard and it's just not working and it's painful, I've installed a do not take yourself too seriously horn. Why is it so hard? <laughs> Works every time. All right, welcome to the Lincoln tour. Now that you've seen where the sausage is made, why don't you come on in and meet some new friends? Come on. So after traveling the country for so long, Beth and I realized we wanted a place to showcase our work in our own city, in Milwaukee. Well, after about five years search, we finally found it, right here in the heart of Bayview. First and foremost, it's going to be a studio for Beth to work in, long overdue. You'll find out more about that in the next episode. But we found this little gem and we're going to take care of it and have a place to showcase our work. And maybe have some friends over for a cocktail once in a while. Not the worst idea.
thank you for spending some time with me today. Uh, if there's anything you can't live without here, please go to my website, markwintersculptures.com. Uh, there you'll find prices and dimensions and all that fun stuff. So thank you to Seesaw Project for all your hard work. And that's all I got. See ya.